Hey everyone, so I got a lot of questions about um, how you make changes to the 3D printed splints. Um, so I just wanted to show you this one where for this, uh, the finger was a little too wide here uh, where you know the finger placement was. So I just needed to shave that down so that uh, the fourth and fifth digit would contact, but not the third. And so it sands really, really easily. Um, super easy to remove material. I just took a uh, vibrating sander uh, with some 300 grit and took just a few seconds to mow some of that off. The other change I made is right here in this notch um, for the third finger. That was straight across and um, it was just inhibiting just a little bit of a flexion there. So I just kind of shaved that down, same process. Uh, really, really easy to shave material off. I just kind of used the Dremel bit just to fit in there. And then lastly, uh, if the splint, if you ever have any issues where you want to join material or repair a crack, all you have to do is just use the same UV resin, like if there was a crack here. Um, and you would just put that resin on there and put it in the sun and then it cures you know pretty quickly usually within about 30 seconds um yeah it can be heat molded too to make it more pliable um it won't really hold the shape it'll expand but that's of course where the velcro loops come in just to kind of hold whatever position you really want um you know if you're printing a, a flexible resin splint